Hideo Kojima is saying he's staying independent, baby. He he ain't letting the man come back down on him once again. Mm -hmm. Nuh-uh, not for him. So, Stalwart. pulling an IGN article by George Yang, Hideo Kojima, quote, Every day I am approached by ridiculous offers to buy <laughs> our studio. Hideo Kojima says that he's been approached by with some ridiculous monetary offers from other companies to buy his studio, Kojima Productions. However, he's been rejecting all of them. On episode 10 on his Spotify podcast, Brain Structure, Kojima says, quote, We are indies. We have no affiliations whatsoever and are not backed by anyone and are on good terms with everybody in the industry. He continues, quote, Every day I am approached by offers from all of uh, over the world to buy our studio. Some of those offers are ridiculously high prices, but it's not what it's not that I want money. I want to make what I want to make. That's why I created the studio. So long as I'm alive, I don't think I'll ever accept those offers. <clears throat> and then the, the article goes on to sort of compare the different buyouts that we've been covering on this podcast as of late. And then it's worth noting, Kojima also touched upon rumors that a Death Stranding follow-up was pitched to Google as an exclusive before Stadia shut down, rumors he quickly refuted. Right now, Kojima Productions is working on a project with Xbox that will leverage Microsoft's cloud infrastructure, even though Kojima denies Stadia rumors. Norman Reedus suggested earlier this year that the sequel to Death Stranding is in fact coming. Overdose, which is reported to be Kojima's next game, was recently leaked, and there's footage of actress Margaret Qualley's, Qualley's character in dark corridors holding a flashlight. It's unclear whether this project is for the Xbox One or for the rumored Death Stranding sequel, as Qualey played a character in the first Death Stranding game. Yeah, who I don't recommend her from anything I've seen, but I think I've seen this girl's face before. Oh, well. Oh, uh, let me look it up Qualey. real quick myself, because yeah. I don't I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, Jima staying independent, denying offers. I'm sure all of the big dogs have been asking for it. Oh, you know that. Uh, oh, oh my gosh, she was great in Death Stranding. Oh, she was? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. She was fantastic. One of the best characters. Nice. So, um, I think, first of all, I think this is the right move for Kojima. He mm -hmm. likes doing weird shit. He likes doing experimental shit. He likes, you know, breaking molds and mm. making some fringe choices and taking some dangerous risks and so forth. So much so that, you know, uh, Death Stranding was received pretty split. There were people who loved it. There were people who, you know, enjoyed it like me. And then there were people who fucking hated it. Mm -hmm. um, but I think experimentation on that level, on that AAA level is necessary. And I think Kojima staying independent is a great way to keep that experimentation going and those risks going. There's a lot to dislike about Death Stranding. There's a lot to like about Death Stranding. And I think what people will pull from in the future, I think Death Stranding is going to be a very influential game in a lot of different ways. In, in ways that we will clearly see as the consumer and be like, ah, they're doing the thing Death Stranding did. But they're also going to take notes and be like, ooh, Death Stranding did that. It didn't work. Let's figure out a way to do that better. Um, I think of the menu systems and all of the different pages you had to, you know, click through to do simple functions in that game for all the complex systems and world building and narrative that Kojima wanted to do and implement all those elements together. It fell apart, but you know, things like that will work. All of that to say, I think his experience with Konami, you know, specifically like, you know, taking him off the box cover of Metal Gear Solid five to where it's not even his game anymore, canceling his silent Hills project I think affected him deeply. And I think it's going to change the way he does business for the rest of his life. And uh, I'm, I'm all the way for it. I like, I like, I like his position in the industry right now. I like that. He's just kind of like, yeah, man, I'm going to do this weird artistic boutique shit. Uh, I'm going to do it at a triple A level. Sure. We're independent, but like, you know, we're putting out games of just as high quality as all the other guys and just as high budget as all the other guys, but we're going to do our weird shit that you only see in the indie scene. I think it's, inventive and i think it's fantastic and i think it's a big mainstream way to kind of change how video games can function and so I, i'm i'm always excited for the next hideo kojima game you know with all the pros and cons that come with a hideo kojima game in the modern era i haven't loved a kojima game in a minute but you know uh, there's ups and downs to that you know like pt captured the world by storm and captured all of our fascination for a reason mm -hmm. death stranding like it or not, there were things in that game that like were worth talking about. Um and and I think now at the end of the day, like we can look back and just be like, yeah, let's just appreciate Kojima for doing his Kojima shit. Because like uh, yeah. the industry kind of needs that. Cause you look at the Horizon Forbidden Wests of the world, 
you know, you look at the Call of Duties of the world and how they're just kind of copy paste. Like we're going to weigh this to death to the where it's like the most general acceptable thing for everyone. And, you know, to for someone at this level of this legacy of this stature to say, yeah, I'm going to make something. Some of you are going to like it. Some of you won't deal with it. Like very admirable. That, ex- we, that excites me. <laughs> we need <laughs> you know? someone like that in the industry, and I'm happy that Kojima... It, it makes sense it's Kojima, because he's a super big name in the games industry. Mm-hmm. Everyone knows who he is. That's almost all you need for him to get his marketing of his games out the window. And, and you know, in the, in the face of all of these companies being bought up by bigger companies and just, you know, this being this you know, big fish eat small fish... How many billions of dollars has he turned down, man? Oh, and that's just... That, see? It's admirable. It's just... He's so in tune with the artistic expression of video games and what he wants to do that money doesn't matter. It's second to him. Because he could, he could have sold it to someone and then retired and had a luxurious life for the rest of his life. Yeah, as soon as he left Konami, I'm sure PlayStation would have picked him up. I'm sure yeah. Xbox would have picked him up. I'm sure we EA would have picked him All of the big dogs are doing it. Yeah, we thought... I remember there was a time when he was, like, talking with Sony people before Death Stranding mm-hmm. came out. We were really... I was really, at least... I saw other people as well being like, okay, we're, we're, we're going to be, you know, the Sony Kojima, you know, duo here. But turns out, no, he's just dead set on making his games with no strings attached and being... Uh, amicable with the entire games industry which i think is a really good thing to do especially when we get into this idea that oh we need to have games on playstation and then we have the games on xbox and create this completely unnecessary divide and to see someone like kojima not feed into it it's really nice to see usually you don't see nicer stories like this you usually see oh kojima's being you know bought up by the big studio once again and you know who's gonna go next time but not in this case Connor, I am right now, via my PlayStation app, Mm -hmm. reinstalling Death Stranding Director's Cut. Really? Just out of respect? Just partly, but also I'm just in the mood to play it. Really? Um, Yeah, just talking about it. And now now that I've finished God of War, you know, I still want to, you know, go through and play the Platinum. And I'm still playing. I loaded up God of War, the original 2005 game on my Vita again last night and played some of that. And I want to Platinum that as well. But yeah, just talking about it, and now that I've got some time before Callisto Protocol, before I have to play something, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna spend my days with some, with some Death Stranding here. Nice, it's, ad- it's admirable. Uh, play that damn game. That's as I can find it in my list. You know, this play. The great thing about PlayStation is that nothing is universal. Every UI system you work with is different than the last. And you know, I just want to co- compliment them on that because it's so easy to find my games when you play it out like this. See, diversity in game UI and our UI are you know, is just what we need. We need right? everything to be different. Every single aspect of everything. Every be single aspect. We definitely it's do in video always... games. Well, not not even necessarily in video games. It's... That Sony being so Sony seems to really be kind of strange with how they've been carrying themselves. You know, I mean, they're they're weird. They really are weird. Uh, They've been uh, they've been hindering games being put on Xbox. They really just want to make everything theirs, which with how they're doing things now, I'm happy Kojima didn't take an offer that I'm assuming they probably brought to them. Oh, I'm sure they 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 must come by every couple of months and be like, hey, man, you still sure? Mm -hmm. How you feeling? Like, I'm good. How's 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 fifty billion dollars? Fifty billion dollars okay for you? That's really good, but I'm okay. I'm good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> somebody tells me he's not um, even like rude. Like, he, like, like he like he even pointed out he's good with the games industry. People people like Kojima, so he, he's probably yeah. not even not even making any enemies with this. It's just nah, everything I've seen from him, from old employees to interviews and stuff. He always seems like a cool guy. He's a rock star, you mm-hmm. know, but, and he's got a bit of an ego of a rock star, but he's been afforded that because of the influence he's made with the Metal Gear Solid series of the splashes that he's made with Death Stranding and his whole Konami falling out and so forth. Like he's, he's, he's a man who's earned the, the legacy that, that he's been given. And, you know, I'm just, uh, but, you know, for the most part, I think he's still, like, just a nice dude. And I think people generally like working with him. Um, Overdose, which is the the project that he's working on recently that's been leaked and that we're hearing about. And I assume it's what he keeps teasing on Twitter. You know, he keeps talking to us about actors and so forth that are in his games. And we haven't really been covering that because we don't care. I hope it's a horror game. It looks like it's going to be a horror game. I, I was really excited for Silent Hills. I thought PT was one of the best 40 minute experiences of my life <laughs> and i actually would kill to be able to experience that again i never will be then I say no yet. 
Yeah, you never know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I'm. Uh, what what does Kojima horror look like? You know, especially you know when he's got Gerald Guillermo del Toro in his in in his bag, like with mm-hmm. it. Ooh. Dude, that that, that, that would be cool. Would be great coming back. I mean, they they kind of teased he was involved in Death Stranding with like his his performance in the trailer, but I don't think he had anything to actually do with the game. Just Del Toro? Like, yeah, because remember he was in that tra- he was in that trailer. He's a main character. Oh, is he? Mm-hmm. I didn't I didn't know that. Yeah, he's like he's like he's like like guy number two or three in oh. your in like the game's equivalence of codec calls. He's he's in there all the time. Not. Well, what's funny is is it's not actually Del Toro. Like, there's a different actor playing the character, but they use Del Toro's likeness. That's strange. That's very strange. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, Death Stranding's a weird game, man. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, uh, I like weird and experimental games, but that one you didn't really do anything for me when I was looking at it, and I'm kind of happy I didn't play it. Though I know you game club want me to is game club one day. Is no, I've been thinking about putting it in there, but I think you guys would fucking string my neck, ring my neck right now if I put it in there right now. Uh, to play? I, I'm I'm gonna wait. I'll I'll we'll get a couple more games deep into that list, and then I'll throw it in the spinner, and, and then we'll see. 